Okay guys, so let's take another JavaScript frequently asked question. So let's look at this one. JavaScript closure inside loops, simple practical example. So this question, let's just start by looking at the code example that we have been provided. So we have an array of functions, then we loop three times as I can see, and we allocate each of like we basically add an anonymous anonymous function that is going to log out my value plus i which is you know is going to be 0 1 2 and then it's going to end and we add that into the array basically yeah let's try create three functions and store them in function each should log its value and then we loop through all of these functions here i can see and then we call it and now let's run each one to see okay so it out puts this my value three 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 whereas I'd like it to output zero one and two okay so what's going on here so the question basically is why is like when you when we are creating these lambda function and giving them a value of i and we're then looping through them and just logging them out why is the value always three shouldn't it be zero one and two so let's look at the problem this is the problem code so we have our array we loop through three times, we create lambda functions with variable i, and then we loop through that, and as we can see now, if I do node problem, we can see that this is in fact exactly what's happening. Now, what's happening here is that we have mistaken block scope for function scope. So let me just walk through it. Yeah, JavaScript doesn't have the concept of block scope, but it has the concept of function scope. So what's happening here is that I am declaring a function and I'm referencing the i variable, which is up here. And the problem with that is that this value is now not being copied into my function. Like this function is not storing its own instance of this variable it's referencing the original variable, which means that when this loop is done, the original variable i is going to be three. So when this code is running, i is actually three in all cases because we're referencing a variable that is being mutated on each iteration. So how do we solve this? Well, it's actually, it's actually pretty simple because we don't have block scope, but we do have function scope. So let's look at the solution. So what we're doing here is that we declare a functions array and then we create a higher order function, which is a function that takes an input of i and returns a new function with the, uh, and it logs out the, you know, it does a console log of the value here. So what's happening here is that we loop through three times and then we call this function. So it's, it, it takes in i and it creates a new function with uh, basically this creates a new function scope which means that i here is now a copy of the original value so and we store that and then we loop through it just as we did earlier so if i now do node solution we get the expected output zero one and two so that's a good reminder if you need if if you are referencing something in the same scope and you're not like creating a new function or anything like that, it's going to reference the original variable and not create a copy. In order for you to create a copy for your function, you need to create a new function basically, or a new function scope. And that's basically the answer to this question. Hopefully this was useful to you. Have a great day.